Hello, and welcome to episode 17 of my blind let's play of Salt and Sacrifice. God, I wish I would have started doing these let's plays like 10, 15 years ago. I could already be successful on YouTube. Oh well, I didn't. <laughs> Uh, what's through there again? What the? What the? Fuck, I hate how I can't fucking see! Okay, I don't remember the directions up here, but... I think there might be a door to the upper right here that I can now go through. That will give me access to a couple of treasure chests. Yeah, I believe so. Oh my god. Yeah, here it is. Palatine Vanguard. Fuck off. Oh, Palatine. Whole fucking Palatine set of equipment. Can't fucking check it out because I have the random fucking pricks after me. I guess I could have checked it out. Whatever. Yeah, I'll re up on this thing. Alright, let's check. Let's try and check out this Palatine shit. So is Palatine another way of saying Paladin? Class 1 heavy armor. It's not even that good. Okay, and the Vanguard is a weapon type that I don't use. And it's class 0? God, that seems weird. Whatever. Wait, did that say for a Paladin? It did. So Palatine is like relating to Paladin. Apparently. Okay, let's get past these fucking pricks again. Okay. So, I believe there's at least one more door that I can go through as well. And then there's another door that I still need to get this next mage in order to be able to get through. Yeah, I got through... It was this door over here, right? Yeah. Dying it. guy up here. What is a Thaumamancer? It's like the same as the light guy. Yeah, I used to have, I had light magic or whatever in the last game, and I used to have shit like that that could, like, send weapons at people from afar and stuff. Holy shit, look at this fucking thing. Oh, fuck. Holy moly. That was a waste. Yeah, we got the throne here. It's not good for much. Right, going decently so far. God fucking damn it, man. Alright, whatever. Oh my god. Oh my god. 
All right, fuck it. Yeah, you guys come at me and get got by that thing. Dude! God, they just fucking melt through my fucking health so fucking fast, man. Man, is that fucking annoying. I gotta get all the fucking way back there. Let's go this way. Just takes for fucking ever to get back. Oh, of course. I could find another beacon or obelisk. Yeah, the the first like Salt and Sanctuary, the first game in this series was so not like this. Oh my god. I can't fucking roll because the platform's not long enough for me to fucking roll on. So stupid. Um but yeah, the first game wasn't all about just, like, hunting these fucking generic fucking mages. That's like so much of, of this game so far is just hunting generic. Oh, fuck off. Just hunting these generic enemies. Oh, my God. So many fucking enemies. Yeah, fight each other. Down and to the right. Could really use another beacon or obelisk. Are you poisoned? I can't tell. Use a beaker and an obelisk. Yeah, I can go through that door now. I mean, does it lead me to a beacon or an obelisk? Maybe.
Kind of wish it would. Oh, maybe I do need a double jump before I can continue this this part. Okay, here's the boss. Let's poison him. Thawmancer, what the fuck does that mean? Let's let them fight. Dude, what the fuck hit me? His fucking foot? Holy fuck, and now I'm like a thousand fucking miles away because they don't fucking design the fucking game well to give you a fucking... Oh my god, I'm so fucking far away. Like, where are the other fucking beacons and shit, man? What the fuck? Fuck you. Oh, fuck you, man. Yeah, I know I need to go down. I know. Just gotta go down and down and down and more down. Jesus fucking Christ, man. Desolate plane. I mean, should I go back to this fucking beacon over here? Now I gotta fight another fucking guy. The hell is this? And I'm gonna fucking lose my fucking pile of shit fighting these fucking pricks! Fucking die! Dude! How fucking many do there need to be? They're all fucking midair. You can't do fuck all to them. Oh my fucking lord! And there's like... So many fucking levels worth of salt just fucking gone because the game is fucking designed like fucking piss Fuck you fucking idiot who made this fucking game God fucking damn was this a fucking mistake playing this fucking pile of shit game Jesus fucking Christ, man. This is literally all you fucking do in this game is fight these same stupid fucking generic fucking bosses over and over. And it's just like Hitbox City, 12 different fucking enemies. Enemies, the, the fucking, well, even the regular enemies never fucking stop comboing. Never mind the fucking bosses. You can't fucking stun them ever. They summon unlimited fucking enemies. And this is all you do is just fight these fucking mages over and over. I, I swear, this guy must have, like, seen the success of Salt and Sanctuary and just really fucking rushed the fucking second game. And I'm dead again. And now I'm in the same fucking loop as I was in yesterday. Where I'm just fighting the same fucking stupid fucking retard over and over. You can never fucking get yourself set up against a fucking enemy because there's always 12 other fucking enemies around. I did so much fucking damage to that guy, too. Doesn't fucking matter. He's a high-level enemy, so he's just a massive fucking damage sponge. Fuck off! Ah! Pick up the fucking shit I tell you to pick up! 
All the fucking neighbors outside probably think I'm a psycho, and I just don't fucking care, man. I just fucking hate this fucking world. Everything's fucking stupid as hell. God! This guy just runs and runs and runs. No point putting wind buff on my fucking weapon, because it's a fucking wind enemy. This game feels super not playtested. It's like nobody ever asked, like, is this actually fun? Oh yeah, that's so fun. Just getting hit fucking a thousand goddamn miles. At least I got the fucking critical hit on that fucking asshole. Doesn't stop him from just annihilating me, but... Look at the fucking health on him, man. This guy can just summon another one if he wants to. He can just keep summoning. Oh, I'm about to fucking die, too. Fucking takes so fucking long for your health to recover. So many fucking hitboxes on the fucking screen. Yeah, I'm almost dead. Like, what am I supposed to do to fucking achieve victory here? I'm about to fucking die. What, like... How are people into this fucking shit, man? What happened to fucking reasonable fucking game design? Like, what the fuck is wrong with people? That guy has so much fucking health! Oh, just skip him! Just don't fight him! Just skip him! Just don't fight him! Go, 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 go. God, I hate fucking people in their little fucking comments. Nobody wants to fucking... Like... Like, be constructive. P people don't like being constructive. People just like fucking acting like they're a fucking authority. People don't care about actually fucking helping. I haven't grabbed my fucking pile of shit from the last fucking time. Not that it matters. There's fucking hardly anything in it at this point. But what is with the fucking damage sponging, man? And then just hitting me all across the fucking arena. And my fucking poison does such fucking piss poor fucking damage. There's way too many fucking hitboxes to fucking avoid it all. The enemy can just fucking combo into combo into combo, cancel out their fucking attack into something way better. Like, dodging is almost fucking useless half the fucking time. No fucking bo uh, arrows left to fucking poison them with. My fucking roll gives me almost no fucking invincibility. But the enemy fucking damage hitboxes last like insane fucking amounts of time. Dude, there, there's no fucking intelligence or balance put into fucking most game design these days. Even in the good games. Like, the, uh, oh my god. Like, how about some fucking cooldowns? Like, what fucking dumb shit is this, man? Fuck! What the fuck? 
Just getting fucking juggled! Let's go throw some fucking items at him. Yeah, missed with that one. Perfect. Can't fucking get that one out. And I got no fucking health left to work with anyway. This is fucking insane, man. I guess I'll just skip yet another enemy. I fucking hate skipping enemies. I like skipping enemies if it's my choice to. Look at that! I dodged the one, and then he immediately turns and slashes me before I can even dodge again! Dude! The fucking guy- I'm looking up your fucking name right now, man. I don't know, I'm probably just gonna get fucked up standing here doing nothing. Ska Studios. James Silva, what the fuck is wrong with you, man? Holy fucking Christ! Like, what the fuck is this stupid shit, man? Fuck off! Holy fuck. <sighs> fucking go down the fucking ladder. Is he not here? How the fuck is this idiot? Oh my god, I gotta know, go through another one of these guys. Fucking hate them. Another fucking archer enemy to just fucking annoy me. Oh my god, hit me out of fucking midair. Now I'm about to fucking die. Again. And now we've got the enemies that can fucking detect you from 12 rooms away and know exactly where to send their magic after you. Just like in fucking Elden Ring and Dark Souls 3. Because fuck good game design is just better to be annoying. Just throw as many at... And you know what? I, I will be as hard as anything on the fucking From Software, like, Souls-like community. Because still, all you fucking geniuses say that Dark Souls 2 is the only one who does that. With the gank squads and the unfair fucking encounters. And all the other games are great. Well, you're fucking wrong! Dark Souls 2 is reasonable compared to fucking dumb shit like this. And the shit they throw at you in Elden Ring and Dark Souls 3, man. Dude, how many of my fucking healing items have I already fucking wasted? Just getting to this fucking idiot. Don't have any of the other ones. I guess they don't all recover on whatchamacallit. God, that's a lot of fucking health.
It's just not fun when when there's too much to deal with at once. It's not fun. It's not fun, whether it's too many enemies, too many fucking hitboxes, or, like, uh, like limitless fucking combos. Flagellant's Mask. Wow, sounds great. Who fucking cares? It'll be another fucking stupid generic fucking helmet. The mask of one who serves Herodustus through acts of self-mutilation. The severe god demands order, and where acts of sin threaten this balance, acts of suffering must manifest. Whatever. Who fucking cares? So now I've beaten that guy. Now I can get through the door that you needed ten to get through. Yeah, so that's pointless to me right now. Am I on the very bottom floor? Where is the door that you need 10 to get through? Is it down in here somewhere? I don't remember. Oh, that one. Apparently you need more than 10 to get through. Oh, I only have nine. Oh, because that guy didn't count as one. I guess I better just go fuck it back now then. This is a beacon, right? Yep. Alright. Let's see what I can do with all the fucking bullshit I have now. Travel, you fucking asshole. Oh, uh, let's use this. Yeah, so this doesn't fucking re-up upon uh, refreshing. So, fuck that, and we'll put this here. Let's put that away, that and that, that and that, that and that, that and that. Boom. Forager's staff. I never read that. I guess I, I did read that. A mundane walking staff and weighted steel blade. Kerasite? Foragers prefer to avoid combat, but can engage when necessary. <sighs> All right. Let's go fuck around with this first. Nothing new. Another arrow. Yeah, what's with this? I can have up to five, but how do I refresh them? I don't know. Okay, let's check out my sweet tent with all my shit in here. Who really fucking cares? Yeah, I'm sure it's really hard to make a video game as one or only a couple of people, but... Uh, oh, I should check these things. So, some things I really just can't forgive. Runic Arts damage. I guess that's kind of cool, but... Don't need any of that shit. Purge them. Purge, purge. Combine. 
cool. Let's do this. Uh, okay, so I have a whole new set to check out, right? Yeah, electric's all good. Earth, I still need a little bit more. Light armor, right? So, okay, I'll move on from that. Whirlwind, do I need anything else here? No. Fungal, I'm good on. Dark stuff, I just need one more. Uh, okay, so we'll check out the light stuff. Class 2 armor. Increases light defense. Trophy. Increases runic arts damage. Increases light attack. So nothing that great. A mantelpiece adorned with four candles, a silk sash, and a scroll containing divine words of judgment. All right. Whoops. Fuck. Oh, a dagger filled with the divine malice of Thaumamancers. The weight of sin on your soul determines whether it feels delicate whether it feels delicate or substantial. Gotcha. An ornate pendant depicting symbols of divine law. When your mind drifts to thoughts of longing, it seems to disapprove. Good. Get all of them. A ring of brilliant light. Light has the power to inspire, expose, and blind. Wisdom must be the arbiter. All right. Can I fucking do any enhancements? How do I not have any more gold empire, man? I think I had a chance to get up to five from that guy I just beat, and I got zero. That sucks. All right, whatever. Whoops. Any of these items to use? No. One level. Because I lost most of my fucking stuff. Tree of skill. Where should I take it? Uh, I mean, I might as well go for all the glyphs, I suppose. Or, no, I won't waste any yet. I'll just go for the glyphs I actually wind up using. Level 3 crossbows. Alright, we'll, we'll get this. Uh, I feel confident in declaring this expedition a success. We've defended a few days' march into the valley to the northwest of the Winter Wall, but the nearer we draw to the land's dwellers, the more risk we face. <sighs> all right all right well i feel like i'm kind of done with the second area bulger on right now i feel like i'm ready to move on to another area is there someone else here for me to meet up with now yeah some all oh, the wait there was an item up there what the hell where the hell did that come from? Yeah, there's a guy who's supposed to be in the basement down below now. The guy who wants me to kill Inquisitors. Ah. Blue Heart Token, Beloved Idol. Good thing I finally noticed that. Uh, yeah, let's go down. Oh, no, that's not the way down. How the fuck do I get down? Wait, let's talk to her. 
At last, the ochre tome of fates. Bolgaron has already met its fate, but the foretold end of the many wicked mages that roamed the, that place is now known to me. Act on this. Uh, so, more super hard mages to fight there. I don't feel like doing these yet. I don't need this shit very bad. I'll just wait until I'm a little stronger to come back and clean those up. Uh, this is the Dawnlight woman, right? Yeah. I need to get into the cave below. How do I get there? almost level up too. Oh well. Alright, let's find this other guy down here. Home again in these dark and dripping depths. Our cause is good and our mission is true, yes? Uh, I have no fucking clue, man. Or perhaps the Inquisition is as much of a blight on this land as the mages they hunt. It's possible. I am called Blight Taker Zix. <sighs> I represent the Shroud Alliance, for I see blight in both mages and inquisitors. The Inquisition, the Inquisition desires an eradication of mages at all costs. It is this suspension of morals in the name of violent desperation that manifests itself as blight, a blight that I have sworn to wrap of the Inquisition. The gods have long been denied the promise of three. Shed the blood of your fellow inquisitors and give the gods their due. Yeah, so this is uh, like an invader um, covenant, basically. For every three that hunt mages, one must be slain for the blight it is. Where the shroud of a blight taker. Yeah, don't care. Oh, dude. Another fucking... Oh, I, I could get this class 5 twin dagger. Fire and poison. Dexterity and arcana. I don't love that. But... I probably should get that. I mean, class five, they gotta be decent. Alright, let's go back up above. See what I can do. Like, okay, let me check this. Let's see what happens if I just put them on right now. Fire and cold. Dexterity. Duh, the dexterity scaling is greater. Oh, but I don't have the skill for it. That's why the attack is so fucking low. Right. Okay, so I'll just hold on to that for now. Um, I only have 20 minutes left in this episode. I'll head to Heart of Alterstone. Just kind of wander around a little bit. I see a tainted vessel, the bones of a thousand inquisitors, a legacy soaked in the blood of hateful gods. I hope I get to destroy these prick-ass gods. Whoa, cutscene. Drink from Chalice. Do I have any other choice? Seemingly not. I'm mashing other buttons. I can't even... <laughs> I can't even do a gesture. Let's drink from the Chalice, I suppose.
Oh, fuck. Oh, right. Home of the champions. Right, that, that liquid, that wine was supposed to bring me somewhere weird. And here I am. Here I am. Home of the champions. Okay. Old Altar Stone, the Drowned City. Holy fucking crap, man. Holy shit, man. Thank God for shitloads of stamina. Holy crap. This place is fucking dangerous. Oh my God. Dude, the roll goes too far. Why can't I pull it back when I decide I need to? Holy moly. Oh boy. Okay. Fuck me. Okay, I'll be able to get up there eventually through a different route. Oh boy, that guy looks unfriendly. Of course. Of course. Of fucking course. Now I gotta get all the way back there without fucking dying to get my shit back. Jesus fucking Christ. So I go to the right. Dude, I fucking hate the fucking grab. Dude, I'm like holding right and mashing roll. Nothing. So I just lose all my fucking salt again. Holy shit, man. I fucking swear on my fucking everlasting soul. This game is not as good as the first one. Well, there's no point running back up top now again. I can go wherever I want since I lost all my fucking shit. I mean, I guess I might as well go back there. I don't know. Does it... Does it fucking matter? Oh, my God. Like, what am I supposed to do in this fucking room? Look at that shit, man. Like, what? what is the strategy? What is the strategy to fight all three of those at once? Where any one of them can just run up on you and grab you and start stabbing the shit out of you. Holy fuck, stop! That's such fucking garbage! If you only ever fought one at a time, 
that would be more reasonable. But that's not the case. Three at once, though. Like, what are you supposed to do about that? Now I gotta deal with this fucking dog shit again. What the fuck? We got another one of these fucking pricks! Dude, and I can't fucking properly jump over him to get up here. Oh my god! Oh my fucking god! Holy fucking shit, man. Huh? How am I inside that wall? What the? Dude, that's a fucking crazy secret. Dude, that's a fucking crazy secret. Holy shit, I'm excited for a second. What the hell? How was I supposed to find this? Oh, this is the only way to get up here. No fucking way. Jeez Louise. That's fucking crazy. Dude, I need a beacon now. Reappear. It's not even a fucking beacon, it's just a fucking obelisk. This place stinks. Yeah, no shit, dude. Old altar stone is a cesspool of diseased miscreants. Yeah, I can tell. A scourge of infection, a smelly sea where sweaty feverish delusions are fancied by mildewy morons as divine prophecy. Yeah, you, you, you fucking said it, buddy. You're really describing this place really well. Pathetic. Dude, you're my best friend in this game. Best someone cleaned it up. Yeah, I guess that's me, eh? The filth. Yeah, whatever. How about you fucking help out, dude? Dude. Okay. Okay, got it. Keeper and the kin. Oh shit. Alright, let's get the boss. Oh, I don't have enough rage. God damn it. This seems like a fucking hard boss, man. Like any good fucking Souls-like double boss. Dude, and now I'm like... Committed to stay- I'm gonna have to get back up here. I don't think I'm gonna beat this right now. What am I supposed to do?
Look how much fucking health! It's a tiny arena, they stick together. I missed fucking aimed the last one. I don't think I have enough time. Oh! Oh, I fill up the fucking... I'm not trying to fill those up. I'm trying to fill up my fucking crossbow. Who's the one that's about to die? Dude! Okay, maybe I can make it. With no health. Probably the phase is gonna change soon. Jesus fucking Christ. Holy fuck, that was so fucking hard to just get rid of the fucking one. Rats roost. Yeah, fuck, holy shit, man. But these don't fill up. How do I fill it up? Whatever. Okay, so... Uh, I need to get rid of one of them uh, before I run out of fucking health items. I hate these intros, man. Fucking hate these intros. Oh, the one is already dead. Really? That's crazy. That they let the one just be dead. Trying to bring up my fucking arrow. I don't know why that didn't fucking come out. I guess because I was holding R3 accidentally. Poison. There we go. That's like 50% fucking damage boost. Okay, well, at least I got this boss. I got five minutes left in this episode. Fucking right, that is nice. Didn't think I would get a boss in this place that fucking quickly. I guess I just picked the right route to just get right to this guy. That means fuckface McGee back at the, the partner's veil will have something to say to me. So let me just fucking head. Well, let's talk to this person again. You've slain them? That's that's what I was sent here to do. I am not worthy to carry my blade. Here, it is yours. Oh, free blade. Oculus Crescent. What the hell is that? 
Oh, it's a glaive! Strength and dex. Well, I don't have any fucking strength, so that kind of sucks. Uh, huh. The Crescent Moon Blade Polearm, wielded by a Gnosis Templar. The Secret Order of Knights defends the Choir Hall from the various horrors that dwell beneath Alterstone Keep. Interesting. I envy you, Inquisitor. You are bound to see great things. Alright, let's head back. I've got four minutes to check a few things out. Let's talk to this prick. Nope. Nothing special from defeating that boss. Yeah, keep both of those on me. Where's the divine trophy that I can put away? Whatever. All right, I, uh, I don't think there's anything else I can make. Those are not great. That one's not bad, but I prefer the one that I have on me. God damn. Now, I'm not changing any of the ones I have on me, so fuck it. There's nothing for me to do in here right now. I didn't fight any of those guys. Okay. Yeah, I need those trios, that's for sure. Don't have, don't have. I mean, I might as well start boosting these up, I think. Get myself towards level four glaive and uh, level five twin daggers. Probably level five twin daggers is more important, I would say. It's down here, right? Okay. Uh, before nightfall on the third day, since arriving at the foothills to Dreadstone Peak, we. Oh, I already got this one, right? Oh, no, I didn't. We finally arrived at the Temple of Eleven. I can get multiple at some of them? Yeah, some allow you to put more than one point into it, seemingly. Alright, whatever. I have a lot of will, so I have a lot of stamina. Good stuff. Got a minute and a half. Uh, is there really anything else I would need to do here? No? Alright, I guess that's it then. Thank you for watching episode 17 of my Blind Let's Play of Salt and Sacrifice. Let me know what you think of this game, whether you've played this game or not, uh, whether you have played, like, but particularly if you are like a Souls-like fan, let me know what you think of this game. Uh, but yeah, probably, especially people that have played the first game, let me know what you thought of this game compared to the first game. No spoilers, please. You know, if there's tons of crazy awesome stuff coming up uh, ahead of me, don't uh, spoil it for me, please. But other than that, let me know. Like, share, comment, subscribe. Helps my channel out a ton uh, so that I can eventually make money and have a big platform to espouse my views upon the world and also to make friends and business acquaintances. That's what this channel is doing for me. Really appreciate it. Uh, other than that, hope you're having an excellent day. You know, life is hard, but uh, if we all kind of stick together and have each other's backs, it's a lot better. And that's hard to do in the internet age, but that's, uh, that's something we can do via the internet, even if it's not quite as nice as, you know, having a tribe that lives in the forest together or some shit. Anyway, thanks very much. See you in episode 18. Have a great one. Peace out.